Hi, this is Ryan with Parts Doctor, and today I'm going to show you how to test the water inlet valve on your dishwasher to see if it is good or bad. Other videos online show to test the valve by measuring the resistance of the solenoids on the valve. This test is not very conclusive and doesn't actually tell you if the valve is working properly. The testing process I'm going to show you is the only conclusive way to determine if the water valve is working properly. Water valves can fail in a variety of ways. They can start to leak, which can cause water to fill up inside the dishwasher when it is not in use. They can also cause the dishwasher to not fill with enough water or to not fill with water at all. The first thing that you'll need to do is unplug or turn off power to the dishwasher. Next, you'll need to gain access to the water valve and look for a sticker or stamping in the metal on the side of the valve. What we will first need to know is if the water valve is powered by AC or DC voltage and what the voltage rating is. You should see a sticker or stamping in the metal with the information like this on the side of the valve. To test the valve, we're going to need to apply power to the valve to manually actuate the valve to see if it is working properly. If your dishwasher has an AC voltage water valve, it is most likely powered by 110 to 120 volt AC power, which is the standard power that comes from the outlet in your house. We're going to first need to make a test cord to apply power to the water valve. To make a test cord, we're going to need a power cord, two crimp on insulated terminals, and a crimping tool. I will include links to items we use to make the test cord in the description below. If the wires on your test cord are not already exposed, you'll need to strip the insulation from them so they look like this. On the power cord we are using here, the green is the ground wire and the white and black are the two power wires. If the power cord you are using is not color coded, you'll need to test each wire with a multimeter for continuity to see which wire is ground, hot, and neutral. The green is the ground wire, the white is the neutral, and the black is the hot wire. We will not be using the ground wire on the test cord, so we are going to cut that off. Now we are going to crimp on an insulated quarter inch female spade terminal onto each of the white and black wires. And now the test cord is done and ready to use. If your dishwasher has a DC voltage water valve, it is most likely powered by 12 to 14 volt DC power. We are going to use a 12 volt battery pack that uses 8 AA batteries for our power supply. This battery pack works nicely because it has wires coming out of it that we can crimp on the spade terminals to. And it also has an on off switch that we can use to switch the power on and off. You can also use any 12 volt DC battery that you can attach wires to. To get the battery pack ready, we're just going to need to crimp on a female spade terminal onto each of the two wires. I will include links to the items we use to make our battery pack in the description below. Next we need to inspect the valve to see what style wire terminals it has. There are two common styles of terminals that we see on most water inlet valves. Most either have two quarter inch male spade terminals or two smaller pins that stick out of the valve. If your valve has the quarter inch spade terminals, we will be able to directly connect our test cord or battery pack directly to the valve. If the valve has two pins, we will need to cut the wiring harness a few inches away from the valve. Next, we will strip all four wires using a wire stripper.
on one side of the harness will crimp on two male spade terminals. And on the other side of the harness, we'll crimp on two female spade terminals. This will allow us to connect our power source to the water valve and reconnect the harness back together when we're done. To test the valve, you'll need to make sure the water supply is turned on to the dishwasher and the water supply to the dishwasher is flowing at a good rate. Let the valve sit for a little while and make sure no water leaks come from the outlet of the valve. If the water valve leaks from the outlet when there is no power supplied to the valve, then it is bad and should be replaced. Next, connect the battery pack or test cord wires to the water valve. It does not matter which wire is connected to which terminal. Now turn on your power supply or plug in your test cord. If the water valve is good, the water should flow out of the valve at a steady rate. If no water comes out of the valve, or if the water flow seems restricted or slow, then you should replace the valve. The water flow rate should be about the same as the water supply line to the dishwasher. You can also check your dishwasher's owner's manual or installation instructions for the manufacturer's recommended supply specifications for the PSI and flow rate. Do not apply power to the water valve for more than one minute at a time before letting it cool down for a few minutes as it can damage the valve. If the flow rate on your water valve is slow, it can be caused by sediment that has built up on the screen of the water valve or inside the valve. On most water inlet valves, the screen is not removable. Do not try to disassemble the water valve to try to clean it. We often see people try to do this and it will almost always result in leaking afterwards which can flood and damage your house. For the cost of replacing the water inlet valve, it is not worth damaging your house. If you find that you have a bad water inlet valve and you need to purchase a new one, you can purchase one from our online store by clicking the link in the description below. Please be careful when shopping around online for water inlet valves, as many stores sell lower quality aftermarket water valves. You can be assured when you purchase from Parts Doctor that you'll receive a new OEM water valve. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more appliance repair videos. And if you found this video helpful, please click the thumbs up button below. You can also stay up to date by liking us on our Facebook page and following us on Twitter.